What, it, what are the problems that the climate science produces or presents to this policy process? So I went through a, an, over, kind of an overview of the science, a, a kind of a science without tears uh, discussion. And so in a little over an hour, I talked about, I talked about the climate science as a kind of review to get everybody on the same page. And then I talked about five areas, that, uh, uh, five sort of facts about the climate issue that have a huge effect on the uh, difficulties faced in constructing a, an, an instrument to deal with this. The first is that, that, that the greenhouse gases are a, what's called a stock pollutant. That is, what matters is not the emissions in any year. What matters is the stock of these pollutants in the sky. And that to achieve any of the goals that we have, we have to lower the concentrations in the atmosphere. And because they have long lives, this is a very, uh, not only a very difficult process, but it's a very long process. That we have to imagine institutions that can sustain activity in this area over not just a few years, but over decades and over centuries. So that's one of the problems in constructing institutions. A second problem is that the, is that the, the climate is not just concerned about CO2 from fossil fuels. The climate is concerned about CO2 from a lot of sources, including land use, which is related to agriculture. Uh, and there are other gases besides CO2. So that the situation is complicated by the fact that there are many different things that we do that influence the climate. The third thing is that the climate doesn't care who did the emissions. <laughs> uh, and the emissions come from rich people and they come from poor people. And as far as the climate system is concerned, uh, it, it is indifferent to where they come from, which means that the, uh, yet, yet the, the emissions from very poor countries as well as rich countries matter, which creates a very special problem for any kind of regime, different from other climate, any other kind of environmental problems. A, a third issue I focused on is uncertainty. We have a lot of uncertainty about what's going to happen under various emission circumstances over the next century. So, uh, so that any set of institutions we create has to be, has to be able to, to, to be decided by publics and uh, with, with great uncertainty about how serious the problem is. We really don't know. We don't fix this problem. This is one of the things I try to emphasize. We try to manage the risk we have because we cannot know for sure how serious the problem is. We cannot know for sure what effects of various policies are. This is a matter of decisions under, under risk, which is hard for human institutions to deal with. And then finally, I, I focused on the fact that, that when climate change effects come, they are very different region to region in the world. Everybody doesn't suffer a lot. Uh, I'd suffer the same, and different regions may have different types of of uh, adverse effects from climate change, and we talked about some of those difficult, some of those effects and what they are. What this means is that if progress in this area depends on on uh, on, on providing some help with countries with adaptation, it's going it, to that 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 those kinds of decisions or the institutions that make those decisions have to operate under great uncertainty about about whether particular changes, a storm or a drought or a flood. Was climate change, or was it just normal vari variation in the in the weather? That is, those kinds of uncertainties and differential impacts create a, a circumstance where, uh, where where decisions about about adaptation aid and and uh, and uh, other other aspects of the things we're negotiating have to be made under under substantial uncertainty.